Motilo. Rufai and Fire say, Rufai from Arise TV. Hey, they don't drag each other, no be Motilo. Hey, hey. As Rufai, they give her to Fire say, like so Fire say, they take her, they give her back to Rufai Arise TV. No be Motilo. Fire say, they let Rufai, they understand, say, he don't say what we say. He no say this arise TV. He know who they support. Today he don't prepare come because he don't say what we say. Not the year of Rufai. Fire say they give Rufai back to back. Last so Rufai said they give Fire say back to back. No be smart, you know. What did this election go cost? Eh? No be smart, my people. My people while I don't tire up out. Rufai and Fire say don't enter battle trust and don't be smart, my people. Hey, they even don't forget, say they did for natural TV, my people. My people make a go here from Rufai from Arise TV and Fire say the way they give each other back to back because of this election, my people. Good to see you again, Mr. Peter Fire Show. Shokomola himself, Peter the Rock. Uh, all you have said. Thank you very much. All you have said is a justification of continued illegality in our country. And a lot of people are taken aback because also you yourself have been secretly recorded by an army captain when you were hatching out election fraud plans yourself in 2014. And we all remember that experience. So is it that we should continue in that now? And I also like to ask you this honestly. If Another person apart from Bola Ahmed Tinubu you supported won this election. Would you come on air and say all of these things that you're saying that people should move on without justice? You try to just rationalize what happened in Lagos. Yes, it happened in other parts of the country. But the killings, the hurts, the laceration of people's body and the likes, you know, that happened in parts of the country, but most importantly, what happened in Lagos. So should we justify this now because it favors people that you were in support of? Can I just correct you there? I take exception to your claim that I was secretly recorded, and I take exception that nobody has proven that. Yes, I can be recorded, but nobody will ever say to you that I said you should go and do it, go and rig an election. And I want to say to you, I've avoided touching on this area. When you are talking about Nigeria, let us start with the press. And let us start with your person. You recall the incident on the bus lane and your attack on the police. That shows that you, as a, as a journalist, a public analyst, Somebody who is supposed to live above board is not equally living above board. And he that must come to equity must have clean hands. I read a lot and I listen to your comments. I feel, like I said, we need to sit back and correct a lot of things. But you'll give me a right Let of rebuttal. Let me put your question again. You'll give me a right of rebuttal on the bustling incident because excuse I put it to you, sir. You uh, don't know the full uh, story uh, of what excuse happened. Excuse me. If, if, you'll if, give me a right you, of rebuttal. Go, go ahead. That, if you go that lane, we will, not, we, will not make, we will not make a sense of this program. I was invited by your station. If you didn't touch something that impugned on my personality, I will not give you an answer to that. So if you're asking a question, I told Ruben about it yesterday, and I specifically complained about you and your attack on the people you don't believe in as a politician. No, I have a right to do my job. You I can't, can't compare, you can't complain about me side. to my colleague. Excuse no, me, that's not, I, that's I am right. equally telling you I, know right. where you, I know where you are. That's not right of you as well. <laughs> that is technically not right of you as well. And if you want to make a sense out of this program, let us leave personal attacks, because you are good at that. And I'm equally good if you want, if you want it, I'll serve it as well as that. <laughs> so this program is, is, is meant to talk about issues of Nigeria and not issues of a person. We know where you are, we know where you belong, we know the parties you are supporting, but let's leave that out of the issue. So going by what you asked, Nigeria needs a total overhauling of leadership and followership. I have said it earlier that it is important to know since 1979 nothing has changed. People rushing to court now. Atiku has always gone to court since I knew Atiku as a politician and a contestant. Atiku went to court in, 19, in uh, 2019. The same judiciary said to the whole world that President Buhari won that election. 
Listen to you, listen to you again and listen to me. If we are not careful, as a commentator, we will remain on the television molding the opinion of Nigerians negatively because that is what we want them to hear. For me, the election that brought Ahmed Bola Tinumbu within the context of our conduct in this country is credible. It may not be the best because you can't tell me it's Bola Ahmed Tinumbu that killed the people you are mentioning. You can't tell me it was Sawolu that killed the people in Lagos. When, they, when there was an election in Ekiti, they hit me here on my back. A policeman hit me with the butt of the gun. Most of the journalists were saying Fire she has come with his drama again. I had three surgeries last year. I could barely walk again. But when it is good, and when it goes against people we don't want, it is the, it's the best of things that could happen. You are alive when the G5 left the PDP. You are alive when Obi left the PDP. You are alive when Kwan Kwan So left the PDP and so on and so forth. You want Mana to come from where? So people going to court automatically means when I go to court, the judiciary must give to you because you are complaining or because you are a complainant. Obi himself will certainly, I want to say to him, in G5 we concluded that we must support a southern presidency. That is the truth. Depending on their peculiarity. And if you go to Benue, that was why Otom supported Obi in Benue. We supported Ashwaju in Ekiti. When they were talking about how did the, the numbers came up in Ekiti, it was us that gave it to them. Me, Ayofayo, she was the leader of the people that supported Ashwaju and gave the, our own votes to him. Let me tell you why and make it very express to you. If you tell people, they don't matter. They will tell you the matter. When somebody came out, how you came out and said Tambua was the hero of the convention, we, we are, they are now heroes of the losses. When you tell Wike, because on this television, they criticize Wike as if he's the enemy of Arise television. I am a Wike's friend, though. I stand by him. All the propaganda does not stand the test of time. If you kick my leg, I tell you don't kick it again. If you kick it again, I will do everything to stop it. So let's leave it okay. like that. Okay, so Mr. Farish, I'm going to give you a quick rebuttal. Number one, I do my job here objectively as I can. If you give and me one, no, you let, give me, me let me one, finish. I will please. give you. I will give it back to Ms. you, Mr. Farish. Let me finish. If you, you give it to me, I have me, a right to I respond. Only, I only responded. I, I have only a right responded. to respond. Let it's me finish. It's not personal between the two of us. You made it this, personal, this so I have a right to respond. It's not personal. Okay, so between the two of us, Ms. you Mr. can Farish, take me out of this. this uh, Mr. Farish, I have a right interview. to respond. I you do my job out of this interview so that I don't have a free day. Congratulations, Any political party. Congratulations for that. doing your job. Yeah, please. Congratulations for doing your job. I am you not one of those boys, one of those politicians who go to public domain to come progress? to anyhow. It is, Mr. Fayoshe, in, it is important to note that. Mr. Fayoshe, can we make progress? Thank you. This is not a dialogue. This is a conversation. I'm with you. Yes, this is a, this is a program. It's a conversation. I yeah. let him not get personal. Yes, Mr. Let Mr. him Fayoshe. not get personal on no, this program. No, this no, is it's, his it's way. It's okay. It's okay. Our job is to ask you questions. You respond. It's Ruben, not a Ruben thing. I told you yesterday, and I mentioned, I mentioned Hussein's name particularly why I avoid Arise Television. And you assured me that you are going to moderate it in a way. Hussein cannot, if it's his job, go for my personality or my person on the live television. I will it, give it, it it's back okay. to him. It's okay, Mr. Fauci. Can we return to the issues? Now, I was going to ask. Thank you. You, you, re you. you refer to the G5, right? Uh, maybe you want to talk more about Correct. that. If your identification with uh, Governor Wiki to. and others I love to. is from a principled position. You've yes. also been quoted as saying that you are not going to leave uh, the PDP. But the PDP, are you aware, can accuse you of anti-party activities. Because in Lagos, you openly supported... <laughs> In Lagos, yeah. you openly supported uh, Governor Babajide Sonwulu. You didn't even support the uh, PDP uh, mm -hmm. candidate in Lagos. In Ekiti also, you didn't do much to help the PDP. And yet you say you remain in the same party. Can I say to you, my brother, can I, can I help you? Can I help you? 
And you know better. You know my friend, who was your friend, the late Burudi Kashamu. You know me, I'm a very clear personality. What is PDP? What is APC? What is CPC? Buhari formed CPC to become president. He couldn't make headway with it. He ran back to APC or he formed an alliance for PDP, APC. What is PDP? What is the party that cannot win election? What is the party that cannot keep to its constitution? What is the party that is suspending their members? I, told, I, I said it several on the television. I said the votes that made it happen in a kitty like that, we brought it. This is a public place. I'm not saying it under the table. I support Ashwa, you are made for I support the world in Lagos. I support the Imakita in Oyo. It's a small boy, small boy that can be denied facts. What is PDP? What is it? I won an election for PDP. Sometimes the platform is good, but the popularity of the candidate too is good. At my time, when I was, when I was contesting the election in, in Ekiti, I defeated the incumbents. When, you, when, you, when they concocted the fact that it was rigged in 2014, was it rigged in 2003? So let's leave that story. You understand? If PDP, if, if PDP is a vehicle, if it's, it's workable, we work. If it doesn't work, we go to our houses. Let me tell you, I am not somebody who is desperate to be in any political party. I'm not a beggar of staying in any party. We, the national issue, this country, is bigger than political, political parties. They are, we are first members of our family before we became members of a political party, and we were first Nigerians. What is, are you happy with the situation in the PDP? Was I the one that drove OB away? The same OB that left the party made almost six million votes, had Kwan Kwan So's vote, had Obi's vote. We will not be talking about Ashwaju. If you, the fact that an incumbent does not perform well, does it guarantee your victory? When it is wrong, it is wrong. Look at PDP that is on the ground, still suspending the ESCO of Castina. PDP that is on the ground. You are talking about the candidate in Lagos. Do you have a candidate in Lagos? Those people are doing theater now. Even when Obi took over Lagos, they got 60,000 or 70,000 votes. Somebody who is photographer of uh, 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 um, former governor of Lagos State. Very quickly, he, he, he confirmed that he was his photographer. Please, don't let us go that route, too. All right, sir. Thank you so much. We are almost out of time, but it's important to respond to a question that was asked to you earlier. I'm happy. If the time yes, is gone, it's gone. In terms of um, your call for moving forward and um, going ahead with um, the government, or the president-elect, What's your statement on justice? People have said that there's no healing or there's no moving forward without a sense of justice. Rufai had cited some of the atrocities committed on some members of society. Should they move forward? What's your take on that very quickly, please? Let me equally tell you that all may means ill actions is sincerely regrettable. It should not be supported, it should not be promoted. But I've said it to you, there are actions by the politicians, not by the umpire. And let me equally say to you, majority of people look out for this election time to make money. That is the problem in our country, even the, even the press. Majority of them had bought out more stations. They collect money and be pounding positivity about, against, against what is supposed to be negativity. So that was why I said Obi was a man that turned around most of the things in our country. Obi exposed so many things. Obi came like hurricane and, and, and did what no one has done. But let me say to you, I have said it very clearly, I am not going to come out and condemn anybody. They have gone to court, let the court do justice in the matter. And lastly, let me tell you, I, I join you, join everybody to condemn what is not right, what is physical by the attacks on a number of people. But let's equally get it right that what you see in the followership is what you get in the leadership. And what you see in the leadership is what you get in the followership. Nobody is innocent in the circumstance. Even the press, you are not. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Yofayo Shea, for joining us on the morning. My people, now the video now on a new watch for me so. On a see what you apple for inside the video. All right, my people. 
I would like to end the video for you. Make let me know waiting on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make sure subscribe so that you not go miss any latest gist way I upload. Now, bye bye till I come on a Wednesday. Bye guys, catch you in the next video. Bye guys.